Gary Konski, owner of the Penrite Factory Honda team. I want to take you for a stroll through our new transporter, the new A trailer, the B trailer, and even have a quick look at the Powerstar Iveco that we used to tow it. Come through and have a look. The B trailer carries all of our parts, motorbikes, and provides a place for our riders. And whilst I'll take you throughout, you'll be able to see where the riders are, what parts we carry, and where the motorbikes go. Here we've got a whole heap of drawers. In some of the drawers, we carry some of our snap-on tools. I know everyone loves snap-on. I know the guys in our race team are definitely quite appreciative of the opportunity to be able to use these quality products. You'd be surprised how many sets of graphics we go through. Each round, each motorcycle gets two sets of graphics so the bikes are represented properly, or our sponsors are represented properly. SKDA provide our graphics. We're also fortunate enough to be supported by Rental. Again, each bike gets brand new grips following every weekend. Each rider, well actually two of them run two different bar bends. So again, one of the, the great things about being on a factory team is the opportunity to try a multiple of things, whether it be our rental gearing or our rental bar bends, so they can get comfortable when they get on the bike. Over here, you'll see we carry our Honda Genuine parts. And in here, you'll see we carry our recluse clutches, our easy e clamps, we have different coloured springs. Again, the riders like a different feel to their clutch. And again, I'll reiterate, that's the one thing that people don't realise is the primary difference between being a privateer and a factory rider. Most of the parts on our motorcycle you can purchase. But we've got the ability and the riders have the freedom to try so many different things so they can get as comfortable as possible. We've got some air filters and tubes. We've got another exhaust system, so everything has its place. In here is our shower. The riders come downstairs to warm up. So in here is our kitchen. Surprisingly, Sarah's in, in control of the kitchen along with so many other things. And the one question that we get every Friday is, what are our dietary requirements? Every rider wants something different to eat, don't they Sarah? From gluten-free, to vegetarian, to vegan, to meat, to hummus, to chili tuna. It's amazing, we all have different things that we want to eat and Sarah makes sure we're all accommodated for. So in here is our pantry and the one most important item is our coffee machine. That keeps us going. There's no conflicting interest, we don't have any food sponsors. But we are open. And then as I said, Anyone seen the movie, don't mess with the Zohan, I like my hummus. Come upstairs here. Again, each rider has their own locker. Or actually, in this case, they've got two lockers. They go through a lot of gear on a weekend. This weekend, we're wearing for the first time the new Salmon fly gear. So everyone's in new gear and we're really excited to be able to launch the new product. I better fold this back properly. Everyone's got their own little area on the table here. Justin sits there, Brett sits here, Blo sits here, Oldenburg sits here. They've got the choice of the spin bike or downstairs we've got the rower. This is the riders lounge. Up here generally we can see the track when we're at motocross so we can use this as a great vantage point to be able to talk to riders about what's going on the track. It also gives them an opportunity to come up here, get some fresh air and be by themselves, whether they want to lie down, listen to music or just completely chill out or even bring their family up or a sponsor up or a friend up just to have a chat. But this is their little area so they can switch off in between races and also, as I said, it's a great vantage point for people to be able to come up here, look at the track, try and analyse different situations. Videotape from here is another great vantage point. So out the front here, We'll talk a little bit about the way we set up our truck. To the left there, you can see all of our spare bikes. Each rider gets a spare motorcycle. Over here, we've got Mitchell Oldenburg's bike number 66. We've got Justin's bike number one. Lose's bike number three. And Medi on the end there, number 24. Snap-on are a really big partner of ours. And I think one thing everyone appreciates is the tools that we get to use this year. So each mechanic gets a snap-on toolbox has their name printed on the front. They do deserve some ownership. 
they're our hidden gems. Without the techs at the back end and the engineers working on the bikes, these boys don't have the tools they need. So I need to give the mechanics the tools they need to be able to help us win some championships. We've got airlines across the front, which obviously helps the, the team and the mechanics do their job properly. We're obviously carrying everything else that we need to do our job. And that's pretty much it out the front. Everyone's got their own table. Again, that's each mechanic's table and they can use that to set up whatever they need. The reality of it is this is a workshop away from home and they really do need the tools to be able to do their job properly. So we'll get ready to go in and have a look at the A trailer. We built it for dual purposes. I think for our sport to move forward, we need to encourage out of industry sponsors to get involved. We need a corporate area to bring them. Most of the racetracks that we go to don't have corporate facilities, particularly in motocross. So this provides us a great avenue to bring new sponsors in, show them a good time, give them a place to rest out of the rain or mud, and actually talk to them about the sport, encourage them to get more involved, and hopefully let them have a great experience. This is also a rider lounge on some weekends where we can come in here, as you see with the big screen TV, we can analyze footage, we can sit here and talk about where we're at on the track, we can videotape the track, and we also have other devices that enable us to be able to download data and obviously view it, and again, hopefully to help the riders. But this is it, I mean, thanks to Rockford Fosgate, we've got a great stereo system in here, and thanks to everyone for getting behind us to help us build it, Polyfloor with the amazing floor, and hopefully, this is a tool that we can utilise, as I said, to bring new partners in and to show them a different experience. So here we have our Iveco Powerstar. Iveco has been a great partner of ours. We've actually got two daily vans at home now that we use for testing and my own personal transportation. This is a 450 horsepower Series 2. And this is the big girl that pulls out B-double. Again, as I mentioned, we want to provide an area for our sponsors to be able to come, sit down and enjoy their experience. We also appreciate that we've got riders who have families who want to come to the track and we want to give them a place to be able to sit down and be able to mingle with their rider. So we built this for that in, with that in mind and hopefully it enables us to provide a new element to our sport because unlike most other sports that provide corporate facilities, whether it be at the tennis, whether it be at the cricket, even at supercars, we don't have that luxury at every supercross or motocross event. So hopefully we're able to do it here underneath our, our tent. This is our Penrite Factory Honda rig. This is our place of work. As I said, it's a workshop away from home. Everyone's got everything they need to be able to do their job professionally and properly. It needs to be done efficiently. We've got the new A trailer, which we showed you we're very proud of, and it is there for corporate people and for family and friends and all of our current sponsors and hopefully new ones. Hope you enjoyed the, the tour of our new rig and uh, see you at the races.